everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good Ant Plenty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Okay, I like to think that over here on Good and Plenty, we like to have fun, we like a good time. So today I am taking your favorite celebrities and picking what plant I think represents them best. I am turning celebrities into plants. Buckle your seatbelts. This isn't going to just be my opinion, but I am dying to know what plants you think these celebrities are. So if you think that you can do better, please comment them down below. These are all celebrities that you guys sent to me on Instagram when I asked for your favorite celebrities. This is what it was for. If you do not follow me on Instagram, now is the perfect time to do so. I do apologize because I could not include everybody's favorite celebrity in this video. I picked 18 of them and I tried to keep a little bit of variety and have a broad range of fame. So let's kick things off with a bang Harry Styles. Now this one I had something else in mind but Jonah very strongly recommended that I do the watermelon pepperomia because of watermelon sugar. Short and sweet, that's what it is. Next up is another easy one that I just kind of want to get out of the way. Beyonce. Beyonce? Beyonce is obviously the Monstera Albo. I don't think there is any arguing this, but you can try. Both are stunning. Both are sought after. Both are incredible to look at. So so, I also think that's easy peasy out of the way. Boom. One that was a little bit harder, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. I first got extremely strong Hoya vibes from Leo, but I kind of backtracked on that and eventually ended up choosing the Peacely. I kind of went this direction because both are very reliable, they have been around, and they still make a name for themselves after all of this time. The Peacely flowers once in a while, but it's not bad to have around when it's not flowering, so you kind of just always like the Peacely and you kind of always appreciate it and know it's going to be there for you and deliver. This was a heavily requested celebrity. It is AOC. I chose Ban the Bantle Sensation Snake Plant and I chose that because I would say politicians and snake plants are kind of like the same. They give me very similar vibes. I would say that she is a star amongst the snake plant. She is a standout, incredible, but at the end of the day, still a snake plant. Gordon Ramsay, okay. Uh, mm, this is kind of like, obviously, but a puntia, a puntia. I was gonna be generous and say maybe a flowering a puntia because he did that show with the kids and was a little bit nicer, but honestly, I'm just sticking with a puntia. Robert Pattinson, okay. Twilight, Vampire Skin, Singoni and Holly. Joe Jonas. 13 year old me is screaming right now. Joe Jonas any kind of ivy because ivy it grows fast it clings onto things it is just everywhere it's intense and that is joe jonas in my heart i am brick joe jonas is ivy kalani i'm going with lipstick plant for her i think that the lipstick plant is a little saucy like just a certain feeling where i want to share a room with a lipstick plant and I would love to share a room with Kalani. Maya Rudolph, I chose the Titty Cactus solely because I think she would find it funny. Drake, Philodendron Varicosa. You could pretty much say it, this, there is no room for debate. That's what it is, Drake, Philodendron Varicosa. Dakota Johnson, let's see what Dakota Johnson was in. I'm like running a blank. 50 Shades of Grey, Jewel Orchid, 50 Shades of Grey, jewel orchid they just go they go together okay jake gyllenhaal i can't explain this one completely 
but I'm giving him the UFO plant. Yes, I am saying UFO plant because I refuse to try and say its name once again on this channel. This one, I have no reasoning for. I think that that is an incredible match. Zendaya, I gave her string of hearts because who doesn't love her? I don't know her personally, obviously, but from everything that I see about her and people talking about her, it's just all good things. Heart on your sleeve, string of hearts, Zendaya's string of hearts. Okay, and then you guys threw me a curveball, Vivian Lee. I gave her a Pisha because I feel like I have to respect them both without really understanding why. Also, I feel like both, it's kind of a toss up whether or not you've heard of either Vivian or an Apisha. Rihanna. This one was tough because I was trying to think of like the sleekest, chicest, expensive, cute plant. I went with the Alocasia Silver Dragon. Whenever I see that plant on Instagram, I'm just like, like it is me and this plant. There's nothing else around. My eyes go directly to this plant. So I'm gonna say Alocasia Silver Dragon. Ryan Reynolds, I struggled with this one quite a bit because Titty Cactus was the only funny plant that I could think of and I had already given it away. And then when it got to Ryan Reynolds, all I could think of was Deadpool. I went with the goldfish plant. And this is another one where I can't make the strongest of arguments for, but it just sits really, really well with me. I think that the like goofy, playful aspects of the goldfish plant really lend itself to being Ryan Reynolds. Some of these are just plain fact, but this one I was stretching a little bit, but it really like feels good, it does. But I'm curious to see if you guys have a better one for Ryan Reynolds. Anne Hathaway was pretty easy. Begonia Maculata, all the way. This is one, another one, you cannot fight me on this one. Like tell me when I said Anne Hathaway plant, what popped in, it was definitely a begonia maculata. It is a graceful, beautiful, elegant plant, but still like here to steal the show, Anne Hathaway. And now Andy Samberg, it might surprise you what I gave him. I gave him golden pothos. Hear me out here. First of all, I don't know if it's just my path of life that has made me feel this way, but I feel like Andy Samberg has just been there always. I feel like I have known about Andy Samberg since I came out of the womb. Similar to Golden Pothos. Always there. Wherever you go, you can just count on the Golden Pothos. And then also Golden Pothos propagations. And I would say that there are three Andy Sandbergs. One, two, three propagations of Andy Samberg. Do I have great reasoning for all of these? Not really, a lot of it was intuition and pure genius. It was kind of fun to take your favorite celebrities and turn them into plants. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a little fun. This was a quicker, more simple video, but sometimes it's nice to kick back and relax, you know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you had a little fun. I will see you guys on Sunday for a soothing Sunday. Bye!